So, a couple of days ago, I found out that Wendy's, the fast food restaurant chain, has a Wattpad account and has a couple of fan fictions on there as well. And knowing my channel's history, you know that reading fan fictions is something I did before. So, I'm gonna do it again. But before the video starts, did you know that 93% of you are not subscribed to the Nah, I'm just kidding. But if you do enjoy the video, please consider liking or subscribing. It's all up to you. But anyways, enjoy the video. Chapter 1. Another day, another lemonade. You know when it's about to be one of those meetings. Honestly, I should have known the second I walked into the office. My boss, Alexander Miller, greeted me at the desk with a kind of lopsided smile. The kind of smile you give to someone whose dog just got hit by a car and I didn't have a dog. So I probably should have realized this is a big fat red flag. Hey girl, I got you a Wendy's Lemonade, our favorite. Another red flag? Yeah, I mean, Wendy's Lemonades are our favorite. We drink them together every day. But here's the thing, she always makes me go out and get them. Almost every day after lunch, she hands me the corporate card and says, Let's get some afternoon treats. But today was not one of those days. Today I walked into the office and found a delicious Wendy's lemonade waiting for me on my desk. I should have known right then and there this day was about to go sour. So, I started to get settled in and pull out the latest tax report I've been working on. It wasn't a glamorous job. I'd never say I was passionate about accounting, but I was really good at it. Better than I ever been at anything else. My plan was to put 10 more years in this firm, become a partner, and then time travel the world. Then I discover my true passions, and hey, maybe even open my own Wendy's. Just as I pull out the report, my boss, Allison, pops head over the edge of my cubicle. Hey, Laura. I know you're probably super busy, but could you meet me in that big conference room at 5? The partners and I would like to talk to you for a quick sec. Okay, got it. Thanks, Allison. I did not, in fact, get it. What could this possibly be about? I never missed a deadline. All of my clients love me. I've even helped score some major new accounts. Maybe they were offering me a promotion, but I thought that was at least another year off. Maybe more. I mean, and it's not like we were firing me, right? Right? As I slurped down the rest of my lemonade, I started to panic. Chapter 2. When things go sour. So, here we are, back in the conference rooms, full of half smiles and avoiding eye contact. I knew the second I walked in, I was done for. Lala, thank you so much for joining us. Allison cooed in a distinctly un Allison tone of voice. Please take a seat. Another Wendy's lemonade was waiting for me at the conference table. At least they know how to soften the blow. Our CEO, Jess Elwood, sat across the conference table from me. I have only met him a handful of times, but he's always been incredibly intimidating. From his perfect tailored suits to his impeccably quiffed hair, you could tell this man meant business. He was actually quite a handsome man. Tall, broad shoulders, steely blue eyes, a perfect smile. That he rarely let surface. A girl could only dream of landing a man like him. And trust me, I dreamed about it a lot. Laura, thank you so much for joining us. Your performance at our firm has been outstanding. But unfortunately, our numbers just haven't been adding up the way we hoped this quarter. Profits are down. We just need to cut costs to stay afloat. I hate to do this, but you are the newest count assistant of our team. So I only think it's fair that I couldn't sit there and listen to this nonsense anymore. I took one final gulp of my Wendy's lemonade from some liquid courage and slammed it down on the table. Only fair? I scoffed. Only fair? These two years, I've been here, I've brought in more new business than any other accountant in this firm. I've yet to miss a deadline. All of my clients love me, and now I'm being let go because other people can't keep up with the demands. I felt the heat of anger and betrayal bubbling up in my chest. I honestly can't believe you are letting them do this to me, Allison. After everything. 
we think I done for you? She won't even look me in the eyes. Allison softly muttered. We had to make a decision. That was best for the firm. It's not first of all. <laughs> That's where you're wrong! You know what's best for this firm, so this has to be personal! And with that, I stormed out the room, threw my things in the box, and left. Chapter 3 Thirsty for Revenge I didn't know what to think. I was always on time. I was a hard worker, and I always got Allison and Wendy's lemonade. I had no idea why she gave me the boot. All I knew was that I had to get to the bottom of it. Look, I'm not a bad girl, sure. But I might have gone through above the speed limit a few times. But I'm a good person, really. But you can't just let someone walk all over you without any consequences. Otherwise, people will just swoop in and take a sip of all your non-natural lemonade without asking. You have to stand up for yourself, you know? I left in such a rush, when they dropped the bomb on me, I realized I had left behind half of my things, including my beloved reusable metal straw. I sat on my couch for what felt like I was deliberating as to whether I should go back for my things. I loved that straw. It made my Wendy's lemonade somehow taste even better, and I wasn't going to let Allison take it away another thing from me. I decided to sneak back into the office that night to avoid any awkward conversations. It all happened in such a hurry, I didn't even have the chance to get my ID badge back. With came and handy for this little comfort mission, as I tiptoed down the halls towards my former desk, I hear a laughter from my conference room. Mind your own business. Just get in and out. I said to myself, but I've always been inquisitive. Okay, nosy. As I got closer into the room, I started to recognize the voices. It was none other than Jess Elwood and Allison Rackhead. There was no platonic conversation between two co-workers. However, I never heard Allison giggle like that. I finally got close enough that I could hear every word and catch a glimpse of them through the doorway. Don't you feel just a little bad? Jess Elwood said to her with a smirk. We didn't let it go for no reason. I wouldn't feel bad once we're swimming in money at a new beach house in Bora Bora. Allison said with another giggle. Trust me, it was only way. She was the only one working in this dump smart enough to catch on to us. We've kinda never gotten away with this with this whole scheme if we haven't fired Laura Sanders. But now we'll be so rich we'll never have to think about that name again. You're so bad, Jess cooted at Allison. Well, that's why you love me, isn't it? She fired back. I knew there was something fishy about my firing, but this was more than I ever could anticipate. Jess and Allison having an affair, embezzlement. It was like a story ripped straight out of one of those cheesy mystery paper bags, only this time it was real. I grabbed my straw and crept back to the front door. I wanted so badly to burst into the conference room and catch them red-handed, but I had to play my cards right. Allison wasn't wrong. I was the only one smart enough to beat them at their own game. Chapter 4 Making Lemons into Lemonade I decided to wait for Allison in the one place I knew she'd be every afternoon. The Wendy's down the street from the office. Hello, Addison. I said quietly from the booth right as she walked in the door and took a long sip of my lemonade. Fancy seeing you here. Oh, Laura! You scared me! <laughs> I've never seen her look so caught off guard. I'm so sorry again about what happened. It was nothing personal, just business. She couldn't even muster the courage to look at me in the eyes. I chuckled. Oh no, I get it. Just like you and just Elwood plan to cook on the bombs and buy yourself a piece of the paradise and boy, boy, isn't it personal either, huh? Allison's face turned completely white. I couldn't go to HR to port your little plan, but I have a better idea. You hire me back, double my salary, and we'll forget about this ever happened. I don't think I can do it, Allison stammered. Oh, I know you can't, but your little boyfriend definitely can. So that's how I got my sweet, sweet revenge. Not only did I get back at Allison for firing me, but I got quite the promotion. And make up for this raise, Allison actually took over my old job. And part of her duties, fetching me a sweet 
type refreshing Wendy's are natural lemonade every single day. Just so she knows you don't mess with Laura Sanders. Like I said, I'm not a bad person. I'm actually kind and sweet. But if you can't mess with Laura Sanders and not expect some kind of retaliation, because as they say, when life gives you lemons, make a tall glass of sweet, cold, refreshing revenge. And then get a refreshing Wendy's all natural lemonade to go with it. To be continued.